I wear my culture proudly upon my chest, and I am galaxies away from the black hole called shame. I enthusiastically tell people who I am and how I identify, until this one day. My family and I went out to dinner, and as we were sitting down, one of the television screens was a news report covering an anti-Semitic protest. It was just one more incident on top of countless others, but it sparked the conversation within my family, and it was scary to listen to their fears and the possibilities that were in store for my future. I'm kind of naive, so I like to see the good in people, the good in the world, but there's, almost, there's only so much you can ignore before you go toppling over the edge of realization. But I think what really struck me that night was when my mother said, yeah, maybe you shouldn't be so open about being Jewish. How? How could I not be open about that? It's in the way I say my words, it tints my vision a very specific shade, and all of my knowledge is laced with it. And I embrace that. Why can't everyone else? Now, I'm no devout Jew. I may not have been to synagogue in about four years, and I'm actually agnostic. But I went to Hebrew school for five years, and I learned about the history and the culture and the language. I was bat mitzvah at 12. Every time I hear one of those beautiful rhythmic prayers, my soul smiles. And every time I hear a Jewish song, I feel like I'm holding hands with every other Jewish person in the world. I still bless the candles and the grape juice and the challah on Sabbaths with my babushka. It's still my religion, but it's also more than a religion. It's food that is made with so much onion and garlic and oil that it permeates your clothes and clings to your skin. It's Hebrew, it's Yiddish, it's also a shared history of oppression. So I might call myself a bad Jew sometimes, but Judaism still runs in the blood that makes my heart beat. So how dare you aim daggers at my chest? How dare you mock my traditions? How dare you utter the words, filthy Jew? Tell me why my little brother has to witness Nazi salutes in the halls of his middle school. Tell me why we bite our tongues and plaster on smiles and pretend like it doesn't bother us, like it doesn't scare us. Because they're often claimed to be jokes. It's just, it's okay, it was just a joke, it's, it's fine. Now, not everyone does this, but do you? Because my culture is not a joke. And your words have consequences. You embolden people to voice their bias, jokes or not. Because as soon as someone says it's just a joke, it's automatically forgiven. Well, guess what? I don't forgive you. I'm tired of listening to people hide their bias behind a curtain of faux humor whether they're jokes about Jewish people, black people, LGBTQ people, Asians, or any other minority, these cultures have histories of persecution and of brutality against them. So your words strike deeper than the surface. It's the mentality that matters. It's the history behind them. It's the mentality that scares us. Specifically with Jewish people, our persecution begins at the beginning of our story, when the Jews were slaves under, in Egypt, and the most prominent example, the Holocaust. And I love it when people say, the Holocaust never really happened, it wasn't real. I guess those people never had the thought in the back of their head, if I had been alive at that time, in that place, I could have been there. I could have experienced those concentration camps. I could have been in the Holocaust and if anything like that were to ever happen again, I would be a victim, or my children or my children's children would be victims. And my most personal example is my grandparents. They fled religious persecution in Russia and took two little girls with them. My mother was seven. And now my mother fears that the same persecution that led her family out of Russia is the same persecution that her children will face in America, a place that's supposed to be safe. My culture is hurting, and people think it's funny because people think it's funny. And people wonder why Jewish people find each other in seas of people, why in schools, in workplaces, and communities at large, we create our own sub-communities. It's because we're used to drowning, and if we hold on to each other, we might just be able to stay afloat in a sea of hate under a sky of striking beauty.